sky. Let your soul and spirit fly into the mystery. I've been having the devil of a time with these. Where that four corn blows, mm. I will be coming for And they're in here. And in this yeah, V shape. Right? I and they're out there. I don't have the fear that I no, they're not in this one. And they're out there in this one. And every time I draw them in, I go back to shade them, and it will be different than what I thought. So I paint a little bit and note, notate and go back, and it would be different again. And every time I looked at them, it was different. Oh, I'd look, and there'd be like three light-colored fronts and some dark, or there'd be two and some dark. Excuse me. <coughs> so, I decided to get to the bottom of it. So I drew this, and I realized that these are two buildings that are facing me and the sun, and they go back in space. This is set back, a building set back behind them, and this is a building that's set back behind them a bit. So the shade changes on these, well this too, at different times of the day. So I was happy to know that my eyes weren't fooling me, but how quickly they change and how much they change is surprising. So from this one, I decided to make a reference point, I mean a, ref a series of reference drawings to get the light right. Because I also want to use these for silhouette against the water for night things. And so I did these. Uh, this is uh, March 15th. It rained that day. And it was about 9 in the morning. Okay. And there's the three of them. Well, we go a little later, two hours later, look at what it looks like. So it's no wonder I was confused in watercolor. Then, two hours after that, it looks like that. Then, I switched from these because I had the ocean in it, which I enjoyed doing too. There are nice oceans in all of these. And I purposely didn't put this guy in because I thought I'd be doing too much because really all I wanted to do was record these crazy light changes that changed my perception of what those buildings were. <laughs> Throughout the day. So, let's see, this, was, this is this morning at 7. Uh... Today's the 17th, and this was at, these were, this one actually happened in between, this one here happened in between these two. Anyway, uh, so I gave myself space to, I hope my music isn't interfering, it's St. Patrick's Day, so gotta have my Irish music. Um, so then I decided, well, I, I wanted to get some sky in to some of them too, at least indicate it. Oh, and this one was wind coming up, so it was blowing the water a lot. And then, let's see, yesterday at two o'clock in the afternoon, it was a nice view, so I decided to get that one too. And while I was drawing, the Goodyear blimp came by, so I threw that in, and I was glad I had the sky. I brought it down a little lower, but it's not disturbing. And I had brought the palm trees that were blowing down from the other, supposed to be the bottom of the other drawing. And then I did this one today. But these are just some 
very wild changes. The reason it was so confusing, and this is my teaching point here, I'm even going to turn off my radio. Yeah, I'm recording. Sorry. So, um, the reason I was having so very much trouble with these box buildings switching their aspect so wildly was because of the eye level line. And this is what is unusual. You notice here I marked real light that this is my horizon line. That's where the sea or the ocean is, you know, in case I wanted to put it in. So I did put it in on those. Okay. Ordinarily, when we're looking at stuff, eye level line is about the horizon line. However, I'm up a hill looking down, and my eye level line is actually here. But the horizon line is here. Because this is all on my eye level, there's virtually no perspective to indicate which is the side and which is the front of these buildings. Well, some I just make up. I kind of made this one up. I think that this is a side and that's a front. But uh, it could be something different. So, anyway, horizon line is usually our eye level line. Here, it is lower than the horizon line. And because these are directly on the horizon line, you don't have a vanishing point for them. So they're just four squares that the only information that's going to come to you is from the light on them as to what those buildings are. So I just think that's really fantastic and interesting. But I also like to watch paint dry. So I hope you find it fantastic and interesting too. And now I'm going back to, oh no, it's sideways. Going back to my Van Boers.